Is it right, Mom? Mm. A little bit close. Yeah. That's, that looks a little bit better. That okay. Not sitting up on That's better. Nice camera. Yes. Hold on. You didn't start it, did you? Yes. You did? I did. I'll pause it if you want. No, just do your thing. No. What were you uh Never mind. Just do your thing. Okay. Hi, everybody. Yeah, one. Two, three, four books today. Anyway, let's start the video. Um, welcome to the world according to Bob. I'm Bob. For anyone that's relatively new to my channel. And if you watched the last one, it was just a meh video. Even in my world, it was just meh. Um. Haven't finished any regular books off Audible lately, but I am working on The Maltese Falcon. I am going to finish that eventually. Um, that's probably going to be. But these are these are traditional comic books, not not TPB, not any of that. These are traditional comics. And we only have three, three modern-day comics. This one, the classic, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, was made in the uh, Bronze Age, I think. I don't know. For anyone, for anyone that is just starting out their comic hobby, that means this book is a classic. And, and that's not modern day. It's not like, say, Batman Beyond, where that, that idea didn't come about till the late 90s. No. This book was originally created in the 70s. And this here is a reprint. It's a it's another um classic reproduction. I saw another YouTuber do a video recently of classic Green Hornet. Well, this isn't this isn't that, but at the same time, this is a classic. Don't do drugs issue. So if anyone out there remembers the PC, PSAs. And and the don't pull the PSAs of don't do drugs and don't pull out of the late eighties early nineties this this was one of them only it, it not only hopped on the bandwagon it helped invent the bandwagon it built the bandwagon uh. See, 
My War of the Junkie? Sheer classic. Everybody knows what what you're talking about when you bring up this cover. Um, I've never I've never read um any of the Green Lantern, Green Arrow stuff. I was too young by that point. The first one I picked up was for DC, it was the S team. For Marvel, it was part of Maximum Clonage. I hate that title, but that is what they called when Spider-Man had a clone. Um, um, what would I call it? I, I don't know. But for my, and for the Animalgam event, it was Spider-Boy. Yeah. It was neither DC nor Marvel. But you're not interested in my my opinion, uh, I mean, you're not interested in my opinion of the past. You want to hear about what I thought about this issue. It was good, but I can't say it was fantabulous, because can't judge it. You can't judge a whole run based on one book. That's not fair. If I were to judge, say the Shazam that I got for this week on on the one book, well, you'll see. I give this a classic. Three out of four. I mean, oh. a classic three out of five. There you go. Um, now on to the next book. Shazam! Not Captain Marvel. Shazam! The superhero that can't say his own gosh darn name. This is just setting up the whole thing with Superboy Prime. That's my opinion on that. It was a good issue, but it was just setting up the whole thing with Superboy Prime. I want to see if they remember that... In Crisis, in Crisis, he was actually one of the few characters that invaded the Marvel Universe. That could be another reason they're bringing him back. Um, yeah, it doesn't lie. This kind of does happen. I do like that. Better when they actually have the cover kind of happen. But this is at the very end of the book. I'm not going to say, oh, you should hang on for the whole entire book. Just DC, if, if you have someone hang on for the whole entire book, that's not... That's... That may, may... That may work once in a while, but it doesn't... It doesn't give you... A, a definite, um... It doesn't... 
give you it, it won't earn you a star in my book. Um and I hate to give these two books the same score, but yeah. This gets a three out of five too. Because it had the same problem. The the story stopped right when it was getting good. I I would love to pick them up both, but you know the uh, the other Green Arrow one is out of print, I think. By now. I like that Mr. Mind took over Billy's father. That was cool. Which brings up a whole different question. What happens to the bodies that Mr. Mind disposes of? Just thinking. Um, Mr. Mind, I mean, what happened to, like, Mr. Gold's father? Does he, like, hop out of these and, I don't know. I, I, I'd like something addressed to figure out. What happened to that? For example, Rip Hunter wasn't in this book. It's the future, but Rip wasn't in it. Rip wasn't in the future book. Um, it's been a long time since I've read a Batman Beyond. I pick it up every week, but it's, it's more because you never know who's going to pop up. Um, this is the third retelling of Lights, or, I'm sorry, only second retelling of Blight's origin story. I didn't I didn't read the rest of the rest of the three books I have on Batman Beyond quite yet, but um if they're just gonna tell Blight's free origin story, I mean, come on. We had Blight survive prior to the New 52. If they're just going to retell the same story, what's, what's the point? Um, two out of five. Yeah. Now for this one, I remember enjoying this when I first read it. It took me forever to review it. I've been done with this one forever. I just need needed to up the file, I guess. Um. I, I really enjoy where this is going, and if I ever manage to get caught up with Young Justice's um, book, by all means, I really, another 3 out of 5. But the difference is, 
It's borderline four. Um, it hints at the fact that Bart was in between timelines the whole time. Because he remembers, he clearly remembers being a, a, an adult, and I like that. They didn't just say, oh, his adult time didn't happen. No. He actually remembers. He says, well, he has the computer welcome and as Barry Allen, the current Flash. So he obviously still remembers the codes. He didn't, they didn't address why, and I think they're kind of hitting, hitting towards inertia, but I know a lot of people would enjoy seeing inertia and and a bunch of other like a little society of doom. I don't I don't know how the current storyline's going or how the big battle that they hint at in this one's cover actually happen that way. Um, yeah. Three out of five. Borderline four. <laughs> um, Curious to see how all those events tie together. And uh, until we meet again, my friends, Bob out. <laughs> true, true. Super Holy Prime. Um, Batman Beyond. All that stuff. Let's tie it together.